All right, hello everybody and welcome on back. Uh, so we have a tunnel going here. And I gotta say, I'll, I'll never cease to be amazed by uh, or impressed by Minecraft because even before I loaded into the realm today, uh, it was talking about there was a little hint that popped up and it was like, hey, you know, talking about chiseled bookshelves. So and I guess you can actually store books in bookshelves now, which I, I feel like I kind of did know that a little bit, but I forgot about it. And you can like push or yeah make them pop out and then it said something about redstone too so now of course we gotta we gotta check that out so in fact let's go ahead and head back just gonna show you where this is I lined up the tunnel which I set it down a little bit further um, so it shouldn't disturb a lot of this coral but at the end of the day I'm not too worried about it I mean we're gonna be building you see there like yeah it did chew up some of that but there's still a ton on either side so and we'll continue to add to it. But if we go back... Oh, am I going the wrong way? I very well could be. Yep. <laughs> I am. So anyways, well, I guess we'll see the whole part of what I worked on yesterday. Yeah, looking at the map now, I see now we're headed back to towards Oasis. But yeah, so it goes under all this section. Actually, you can kind of see, though. Well, maybe. It goes off into a nice field of it. And... <clears throat> Yeah, it lines up with the edge of the platform that we made there. And then it comes out there. Huh, maybe not completely. Well, actually, that's kind of embarrassing. Like, we're at 17, 11, 12, wait. 11, 12. Yeah, so 1712 is the edge of it. I guess not exactly. So maybe I picked the wrong starting point because it is a pretty wide tunnel. Usually I only do like two or three wide inside, but yeah. So 1712. And then I can build some kind of way to get down there. Or just like an elevator right there. So, but for now, let's go check out these chiseled bookshelves. So I think we need leather. Um, we do have a cow farm over here. We could. As I say that, we could take a cow or two over there. Hmm. Or we could just take a bunch of leather over there. Either way. Uh, but we'll see how much we just need for a chiseled bookshelf. I think so for a normal bookshelf, you need three books, which is three pieces of leather. And then, well, and paper. So, Which is sugar cane, which we have tons of that. Let's see try to keep a lot of that here. Yeah, so 24 leather. Ooh, let's actually empty out some of this. Uh, let's see. Is it this one? No, it's all... That's the hodgepodge. That's glasses. Ah! <laughs> I keep forgetting there's a, a hole there. Alright, yeah, that's wood. There we go. We can at least get some of this out. A lot of dead coral. I mean... There's no way around that. I tried to do, uh, I tried to use my Silk Touch axe on it, and it just breaks it, so you don't get any drop. Um, I think with this, yeah, you drop the dead block. <coughs> but, let's see. Oh, let's go ahead and cook this iron. I did find some iron. I, I noticed there was still one spot there, so we'll have a nice pleasant surprise the next time I go to work on that. I really should fix that. put like trap doors over it or even just blocks let's do that we keep talking about it. should oh what <laughs> how did that work All right. there so if I still want to go down there well, no, even that, as I say that. There. I mean. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now that we got that, we can go and put all this sand back. And then the dead stuff, I don't know what we want to do with that. Like, maybe I could still build with it. Because, I mean, we do encounter a bit out there naturally. So. 
Oh yeah, let's refill our emeralds before I forget, because... Oh. Uh-huh. I need to stock up on emeralds. But now we do have quite the farm going over there. And actually, we could... Or no. I started building it over there. Where this tunnel... And see, that's why I say is like usually I only do about four wide. So you've got... Either two or four. No, I guess it is four. In my offline world, too. Because there's the, the... The rail goes here. And then a line for the redstone torches. And then I guess like a buffer of one block on either side. So... Alright, anyways. Chiseled book shelves. Curious to see what the redstone does with it. So we need books and maybe even bookshelves. We have some extra book and quills. Yeah, those are all four, I think, on March. Wait, did we make a chicken farm before we left? I can't remember. <clears throat> but we could do some of that here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get this cleared out. Okay. Oh, our massive crops here, which is, that's a exaggeration. Ah, that glitched out too, so, anyways, so we have that, we have that, we have a little wheat, and I guess we have plenty of leather, I'm just going to go ahead and do that, get the experience, okay, hmm, that's right, we don't have a lot of seeds, that actually ran out of negative seeds, so I guess we could also do, I feel like that's not going to be much, I mean, because then we still have that, <laughs> and then minus one, and three, yeah, congratulations, we could create two baby chickens. Although I'm seriously considering like taking the one. Oh wait, never mind. We could do more than that. Now this seems cruel, but I found that on average, actually wait. Oh, 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 that's a lot of experience that I just ate up and didn't use. I guess we could see. We could even test this out. So here's 16 eggs thrown. Let's actually make it. Okay, so this is eggs thrown at a wall. None. Eggs thrown at ducks. Well, wait. This might be better if we didn't already have baby ducks in here. Because now we can... Or I guess we, we can see that there's two. I wish we had more seeds that we could go ahead and feed them to make them get bigger, but... And usually you'll see the chicken falling down, so then... All right, so thrown at ducks. There's already two right there. Now, I could be mistaken. Maybe, I don't know, but I feel like it's a soft... And actually, by that ratio, I'm not just trying to be mean, but because, yeah, look, even just six more. And maybe the space is too small. I don't know, but, like, zero chicks, two chicks. So, and that was out of 22 versus 16, even. So, I mean, just looking at that... I have a lot of time on my hands in these worlds. <laughs> Alright, anyways, chiseled bookshelves. Okay. Um, yeah, in fact, I feel kind of a little guilty. I want to go back and put more s grass in there so they can eat, but I think that actually speeds up their um, wool production, too. So, could be viable to make such a change. Alright, let's see. So bookshelf um, chiseled bookshelf so we need wait really you can just make them with wood what okay well we have not really 
Yeah. I don't really want to get rid of the... Oh, that's all right. We got spruce here. Okay. And let's take the spruce plant slabs. <laughs> all right. Chiseled bookshelves. We only need wood. Wow. Okay. So... It's starting to get crowded down here. Let's go up here. Also, everything floats because <laughs> this is all made out of slabs. So, we could do... There we go. The middle of each of the glass areas. So now, as we get books... And you can even place them where you want. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, oops. The purple one there. That one. The green one. Alright. I like it. Picasso. Now. Let's do this one. like alternates. Right. Ah. <laughs> okay. Slight controller drift there. So that's cool. You can have all sorts of different combinations of books. Now Granted, I haven't even written enough to fill these books down here, and there's just pages upon pages of pages. It's not the most comfortable uh, user interface to read Minecraft books. I feel like a lot of the stuff that we talk about on these things, which granted, well, as I say that, so wait, what are all these? That's C++, oh yeah, then this is Java, and this is Python, which I haven't even started, but this one, I mean, yeah, I have a whole... Actually, I need to add those links. Um, I also got the link for the indoor pollution, the indoor air pollution stuff from, like, gas usage, which, I mean, is going to upset some people. There's already quite the political debate, but we started talking about it yesterday. I went to a meeting, and there's another meeting this week, too, so I'll, I'll have some more information about it. Um, but for now, I was given permission to share the slideshow. So, I mean, it's information that they want spread around, and that was actually my co my contribution. So... I mean, in this, this group, they, you know, they do stuff like canvassing and stuff, which I respect the people that do it. It's a hard job. Um, I had a buddy who did it. I would never do it because I hate doing that sort of thing. Same with sales, too. Like, I, I've done it in the past, and it's just unpleasant. But a lot of this stuff, I don't mind talking about it and explaining it, but I would rather it be like a, a pull versus a push, you know, which, I mean, both are important. Like, I'm not knocking what they do, but I know what some people will do, but... Um, well, like how humanity has just shifted from, like, uh, business calls to phone lines. I mean, back in the day when we had landlines... Um, hold on. <coughs> Alright, so yeah, back in the day when we had phone lines, uh, people would use sales calls around dinner time until they realize that, well, people don't like to be interrupted at dinner. Like, granted, it is more guaranteed to be when they're home, but, you know, the average amount of times that you'll actually sell anything by calling someone, cold calling, in fact, I think it was banned, um, to be honest. And now you get these calls, it's mostly around, like, debt solution things, which may or may not be a scam, honestly. Like, I, I have talked with one, I want to say yes, it's a scam. Like, the... The cybersecurity professional in me says, yes, that's a scam. But the curious, and also same person, <laughs> is curious to see how much of a scam it is. I mean, granted, I also tested out accidentally one of those lottery winner scams. And, that, yeah, that was fun. Um, I played along, as it were. Like, I was hesitant. I was like, you know, there's a good chance that this is not a thing. But what if it is? What if it really is someone reaching out? And so and it turns out it wasn't. It was someone that... Um, I want to say, OK, 
okay, so this is kind of messed up. And this was before I started tweaking it because I kind of saw the unethical nature of it. But And then I went to India and then it didn't matter. So, sorry. I keep humming and hawing because I'm guessing it was someone from India that was religious in the sense that thought that cows were sacred. Or maybe it was someone that thought I was being racist and was still upset. Either way, at the end of this text conversation, because it turned into a text, it started on Twitter, and this was back when it was Twitter, not X app. Um, and uh, I had followed somebody, and they, f or no, someone followed me, and I followed them back because I was trying to grow my fan or my followers. Um, now I'm at like five, almost 5,000. I'm at like under the cap, but a lot of it is like political, like political rallies, like you know, people in my own echo chamber. Um, talking about the same side of politics and again I've said it before that is a good thing that Musk did was to make a lot of people that normally wouldn't talk to each other start to interact with each other it was like reversing the political spectrum like if you were part of Blue Crew you started talking to MAGA and if you were just part of MAGA you'd start talking to Blue Crew and like and a lot of the other similar um, tags I'm sure that people use to identify their tribe or their group of people that they want to be you know conversing with so anyways it's I, d I forget where we're even going with that. Oh yeah, so the scam, and and it was very elaborate too. And I was like, you know, I was taking notes. In fact, I'll I'll share it here so people can learn from this this mistake. So, um, so I did give them my phone number, and so they started text messaging me. And once they're texting outside of Twitter, then it's easier for them to do other things that aren't necessarily flagged by Twitter's tools. Because Twitter, well, now X app, it can scan even direct messages. It can scan. Um, and I think it's even in the usage policy. If you were to really read the terms of service or the terms of use, it would probably says somewhere in there that like direct messages are not completely private. If there is evidence of crime or criminal activity or, you know, or something like that to basically protect against, you know, I, th I think it has to be reported. But honestly, even if it was just something like, you know, harassment and stuff and the user doesn't report it, I want to say they still have like just for safety reasons and liability. Like some way that a computer scans direct messages and is like, hey, I flagged this, this seems suspect. And, you know, especially with how strong AI is getting now, you can, you can be trusted that it's going to be pretty accurate. I mean, the, the number of false positives would tell. You'd be able to test it out pretty easy. Like, you know, write a bunch of messages that you would deem um, dangerous, like someone threatening someone's safety, and then scan a bunch of messages. So, in fact, maybe we'll do that on one of our, I mean, eventually I will get back to coding videos, but, like, you know, it's a good idea for a project, a pet project, to just be like, all right, you know, I want to write a message filter, and this filter is going to filter for spam, for harassment, for um, suspicious links, and, like, the suspicious link could be pulled from a database of suspicious links. Mm. Or even, you could build in a tool that would go to the link and see if any malware is downloaded or any control is transferred or, you know, or any of the telltale signs of a malicious website where, you know, they're trying to hijack you or whatever. I actually know somebody that, you know, in his darker days, he, uh, <laughs> he made websites that would capture info and he did the whole naked pictures of Britney Spears or whatever. And so for those that are old enough to remember that, there was a while there in the early days of the internet. Well, not early days of the internet, the early days of the home PC. Like, I mean, there is a certain amount of, in, like, like wealthy people could afford computers back when they were, like, so expensive. And then, um, also, we're not even collecting these. <laughs> All right. Which is not the point. We're actually just kind of wandering around. We did chiseled bookshelves. We're going to build the channel. That's right. Yeah, let's go build the channel. But for now... And that was cool. And eventually we'll fill up those books too. And oh, hey, what do you have? Huh. huh. Yes. Oh, wait. I want to... Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. There we go. Uh -huh. Yeah, we should go back and get a lot more emeralds. Because I'm going to get some purple dye. Now, you can get this from the plants. But I've been kind of collecting plants. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know. Just because that's like one of the things. Like when you're out exploring and stuff. It's like the thing, the kind of neat thing to do is collect plants. Oh, oh, I, I beat up the mangrove. And see what you made me do? No, that's an abusive psychological mishap there. Anyways. Hmm. 
whoops. In other news, I'm starting to, well, yeah, so I'm sharing that, like, the information. I'm going to go back and put the links in all these videos for the Python tutorial, which is up over 41,000 views. Thank you. Um, the Java tutorial, which isn't even finished. Um, I haven't made it work. Like, it, you can't run it in the browser, basically. And that's how the, the Python tutorial is super easy to set up like that. Um, and I'm not really familiar with a lot of markup languages. So the YAML, the YA markup language, um, Anyway, it's just a little bit foreign to me, so I don't know how to go about that. But um, once I do, and I'm close, because I have an example to look off of. There's another um, person, and I think if they, yeah, they have to have posted their GitHub, but you can see their code and the markup language code. So I have an example of a functioning Java tutorial, but I just haven't gone through and made it, been able to work for me. Ugh, sorry. And see, so, yeah, I started lining up the flowers. Oh, I feel like a nap. <laughs> and I didn't even leave the house today. I got to work from home because I just had so many meetings that it was just like, you know what? I'm just going to work from home today. And so, and it was good. Got a lot of stuff done. Might as well take these because... We will need to go get some emeralds. But for now. Oh wait, never mind. I was gonna say, uh, like, caught between let's build some of the channel and then let's go trade for some emeralds, but this is good. And then, I guess. Yeah, we need some more room. We'll take that. Huh. And we'll take that stuff across the way. I don't know about taking a cow. Like We'd have to make another boat. We'd have to get a cow out of the place. It might be more trouble than it's worth. Might be better to just go get a cow or two cows over there. Or let's not worry about leather over there. We've got 24 on us, and that's a pretty good amount. Oh, wait, no, the bookshelves. So we have seven. Okay, because we do need to fix the enchanting setup over there. So actually, yeah, let's just go ahead and... Let's throw a couple of stacks of glass down, and then... Uh, yeah, that's good. Just to kind of figure out how we want to make this. I don't trust myself to go down too deep. <laughs> like, I guess it's not that bad. So I'm not too sure if I want to make it, or how tall. I mean, this seems good, and also this is an air pocket too, so that's fine. A couple air pockets, actually. So this is what, one, two, three blocks high. That's about how standard is. Oh yeah, because then some of them, like the ceiling dips down a little bit. Way better than two. Four might be a little bit much. Anyways, my point is, now that, that that's been established, what I can do, is start the roof and yeah stacks don't go that far especially ooh, with this many we'll get some air Oh, and anyways, yeah, so the other links that I need to post in the description of these videos are the, a, a link to the slideshow from the meeting last week with the Sierra Club. Because um, at least here in Colorado, they're campaigning to try to get more, well, more new construction to use heat pumps instead of uh, gas in the house or the buildings. Because it accounts for like, uh, let's see, it accounts for 20% of the air pollution. Um, I think at least in Colorado, maybe it's... um. Maybe it's nationwide, I don't know. But that's why it would be good to have a link to the slideshow. So while you're watching this, be like, oh, okay, I'll check, go check it out. And then, you know, by the time a lot of you see this, I mean, if there's a lot of people that see this, um, there will be links in the description. So go check it out. I mean, if not, the the tutorials from the coding is easy. That's just coding game. And then you look for ARI. So, I mean, that's it. Or you go into the learn, like the community tab, then the learn, and then... 
Um, you just flick it over to popular. Oh, no. I got stuck on coral. I wasn't going up. <laughs> or something. Yeah, oh, look at There's just like a floating... Yep, gotta get that away. Okay. How funny. Sometimes I wonder if the game's messing with me. Like, if it just generated a block right there. You know, or, I mean, obviously it makes sense that it would be a random... Like, I would just happen to catch on that. But, like, the one block is floating out there where I'm kind of doing this. Like, it, I don't know. If I was designing a game, I'd probably sneak in something like that. The ghosts in the shell, as it were. Um, but, no. Like, the air pollution thing, that's a real thing. And so, and the fact that we pollute more than any other country in the world as far as this is concerned and there's no regulation on it. And see right there, as soon as you say the word regulation, like a lot of conservatives or Republican type people or right leaning folks would be like or could be like, I don't know. And I can see Fox News just ripping into it being like, um, you know, they're coming for your gas stoves. They're already doing that. Like they're already doing the the fear campaign of like how and granted, yes, like they they, the liberal left or whatever, are trying to get gas stoves to be kind of phased out, but to be replaced with cheaper electric stoves. And I don't know. Like, I feel like I've even heard the argument, like, oh, well, it doesn't taste the same, like, if it's not cooked with gas, or... But then you can get into the Hank Hill argument, where it's like, oh, really? You're like, I mean, you know, propane versus gas, and... Yeah, it's... <laughs> I don't know, but the pollution thing is a really very a very real thing, because there's also health side effects to it, health risks that they bring up, and, oh, in fact, here's a funny aside, on the LinkedIn's, I follow this climate change group, and, uh, this guy posted, um, this ad for, uh, shredding up trash and then selling it as fuel, and I was, like, thinking about that, at first I liked it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool, that'll get rid of it, and I was like, wait a minute, wait, you're just gonna, you're, you're gonna burn trash, and so I did, a, you know, just a basic Google search. I was like, burning trash. And it was like, the health risks of burning trash. And like, because we used to have that here in the U.S. And so, and that's why I don't mean to, you know, laugh at, at this person. Like, you know, it's it's a fair thing to think about. In fact, my best friend, he thought about it once upon a time. Um, he was like, you know, I love camping with, the, um, and if you take the plastic bottles, you can just toss them in the campfire. And I, you know, I stopped. I, I looked at him. I was like, Dude, that that could give you cancer. Like that that's the stuff that gives you cancer. I mean, you always wonder, I mean, at least I do. I was like, "Oh, how do I keep myself safe from, you know, this horrible disease and all this?" I was like, "Well, don't burn trash." And like, and that's what a lot of Americans used to do. We used to have burn pits as kind of like a standard feature for a lot of homes. It's where we would just like take our trash out in the back and in, or incinerators. There you go. Which is the same thing. Burning trash incineration. And this guy even came back, and, and he was a little defensive, too. Like, I mean, he, he typed in all caps, like, something, and I don't know. And I could tell his name was Habib from, oh, sorry, not too much doxing information, but Habibi in um, Arabic means close friend, trusted one. I, I, I want to say even, like, relationship, but, like, best friend, or, like, really close something. So I say that, but I also know that homosexuality is pretty frowned upon in a lot of those places over there. But at the same time, I want to say that that kind of also may, might mean a romantic. I don't know. It's it's weird. But, and I don't honestly know it all that well. I mean, I know the little glimpses into that world that I've, you know, talking about Middle Eastern countries, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran, Libya. Um, yeah, so. Anywho, wow, we got way off on a tangent there. Um, this person, which name Habib sounds very close to Habibi, and that sounds like it would be similar. I mean, it might not. Maybe I'm wrong, but, you know, that was my best guess at where he might be from, just to try to understand his perspective. And I posted a link about the, the free recycle, F-R-E-E-E, -E -E recycle in Nigeria, and it's a company that this lady put together... Um, I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a woman owner, so already that's a cool thing. Like, women, you know, in, in positions of power, always a cool thing to see. Um, from the accidental patriarchy, and we'll get into that a little bit. We've been talking about that in this season a bit. But, um, and Heman, or Heman. Oh, there we go. That's the alarm. But that's basically the point, is that word Heman instead of men. That way, men and man would actually mean human. And so it'd be men and women, or Heman and women. And then if it's someone that's non-binary and in between, it could be themen. Them, themen, or yeah, hemen, themen, women. 
Sounds like some Jar Jar Binks nonsense, but honestly, as awkward as that is, that could fix a lot of un or inequality in English language. So, all right, I will see you in the next one. Ta-ta.